Though their lives were taken, their legacies continue. The 21 angels are being honored by their loved ones every day through scholarships, goals and dreams for the future, even in tattoos. An act of hate and evil in May 2022, not enough to snuff out the love felt here. For my parents, I think they feel closer to Jackie in her room. But for me, it's the cemetery because that's where she is. For sure, we always go for the holidays to decorate. Every time we go out of town, the next, whenever we come back, we visit. I can say, you know, I'm having a bad day. And one of the other moms will offer to drive me to get a coffee or to just talk or meet me at the cemetery and, um, you know, just sit there for a little while or anything. Yesterday was pretty hard, but we, we had everybody here. We were at the cemetery. Everybody came in and showed their support, so it meant a lot to us. I'm so, so grateful for all the support that we have here and everybody that showed up, even though it was raining. It just shows how important she was. It means not giving up no matter how how far, uh, fast or slow you do it. Her, her quote was always, it doesn't matter when you finish as long as you finish, and that's what, that's what was in my head this whole time. I just want us to share our story and make change and we're stronger together. And I love that it's female led. Mm -hmm. And I think Lexi would love that. We wanna make sure that we reach not just um, the families that have already been through this, but families that if you know, there's no changes that will be in our shoes one day. I have to force myself to get out of bed sometimes, but um, it's important because our girls meant the world to us and we're gonna continue until we get what they deserve, they get. You know, we need to find everything that's right for them. There's a lot of other groups, unfortunately, that are out there, and um, we just want to join forces with them to get our stories out as well. And we hope that someday we won't need this and we'll go a different direction. But for now, we are our children's, our family's voices, you know, our loved ones' voices. First is that we're parents because that's that's who we are at the end of the day. We're, we're moms and grandmas and I want them to know just how personal it is. And I think that's the approach we always take. It's, it's sharing these stories because everybody has somebody that they love and wouldn't want to lose. So that's that's the approach we take. Does it feel like what you're doing is going to save lives? Well, eventually, but at how many lives will be lost until we accomplish what our goal is. We just have to have hope, I guess, I don't. We just have to keep fighting. That's They're all we know how to do. It's the hearts, because mm -hmm. not only are the colors representative of the children, but they're how I know that you're okay. Mm -hmm. you, you, if you can't send me a text, you, send me you just send me your color heart. I had always said I would never get a tattoo. Like, I love the way they look, I love the art of it, but I was like, I just, I'm scared of needles. But um, this happened and it's like, there's nothing that I can't do to myself that my daughter didn't have to go through. And so it was, it was I was like, okay, let's do it. Yeah, this one's my favorite. I loved it, like it wasn't on purpose, but like when I wear a t-shirt, sometimes all you can still see is just, it's by Lexi and I love my mom, but it's something she drew and it's me and her and I love that I get to see how she saw me as a mom and as a daughter. I know how much my mom loves me, but my daughter wasn't given the chance to have children. So I kind of feel like, did she really, really grasp just the unconditional, overwhelming love I have for you? I just hope it was enough. So the reminder is needed. I had read the letters that she would write to me and I found that I love you. So I decided like I want it on me. So I went to go get it. So that way when, you know, I'm feeling down or whatever, or if I want it here that I love you of our last conversation, I always just look down and I can read it. He was a Leo, so there's a mama lion and a baby lion. 
And then there's 21 sunflowers in the entire piece just to represent all of the lives. You know, someone will notice it. And I would say, you know, I got it for my son, he passed away. And then these are the other lives and from Uvalde. And you know, sometimes that's um, work in itself, just bringing even more awareness to just random people. The Spider-Man, uh, Uzi's favorite uh, comic character was Spider-Man. And um, he was always drawn to, he was drawn to superheroes and, and, you know, he wanted to be a cop. He loved helping people. Instead of, you know, Peter Parker's, you know, web slinging like that, every morning he would um, do that, I love you in sign language. So that's why it's turned upside down for, you know, I love you. Um, the number 21 is right there for all of the lives. The next set two I got was the, um, the American flag upside down with the sounds of children screaming have been removed. And that resonated with me because, you know, the, the gunshots were still there. Everything that, that ended their lives was there, but the actual, their life wasn't, it was removed. And it's not just their screams were removed, their, their voices, their laughter, their, their presence, it's all been removed from this, you know, mortal plane. That's what Uzi was left with, you know, a, a bullet hole into the spine. Imagine that that bullet went straight through his spine and tore out his stomach. Um, we need visualizations. Um, and like I said, without actively showing or dropping the actual photos, you can see it on me, and you can see what it looks like on a on a 220 pound grown man. Now imagine that on a 10 year old that weighed 65, 70 pounds maybe. I mean, he was tiny. And if that looks like that on me, imagine what that looked like on him. Imagine what that looks like on your child. When she was a little, she couldn't say grandma. Or, and she, since she was little, Ganny and Ganny. So that's why when she did the, the tattoo, she's like, I love you so much, Ganny. So right here is, uh, I love you so much, Ganny. And then she put Amory. And then she drew me. And then she put a G for Ganny. I immediately knew that I wanted to get a portrait of her. Um, this picture in particular, I wanted to do because, I mean, she's sitting, she's sitting on my lap and she's with me. I hate that I have to look up and see, you know, pictures of her everywhere when she should just be right there. It's, it's hard. It's, I mean, it looks cool, yeah. The tattoo looks amazing, but at the same time, it sucks. We're planning on getting matching tattoos with my brother, so I've always wanted a dinosaur for my baby. He loves dinosaurs. So I was gonna get one of the long neck dinosaurs, uh -huh. and then my brother was gonna get a T-Rex, and then on Jackie's headstone, we're gonna engrave a Triceratops. So we're all getting matching tattoos in one way or another. It was just an internal battle of, I need to walk the stage because these kids are never gonna be able to. But then it was also, why do I get to walk the stage? These kids are never gonna be able to, it's not fair. I was always told that graduation, gradu graduating high school, walking the stage isn't really for you, it's for your family to see you. And so that's kind of what my family was telling me, but at the same time, it's not gonna be my last time graduating. I think she would want me to, but she was the type of person that was like, well, it's your choice in the end. I, wa I want this, I want this, and I want you to do that, but it's your choice. But really knowing that she wants me to. I wanted to do criminal psychology for a little while, but then after all this, I was like, I, I don't think I wanna get into all that. I think knowing what I know is more than enough. The weekend before everything happened, 
we had been at a cousin's birthday party and it was a swimming party and I told her well if you learn how to swim you get to jump into the river with me and she was like okay like watch me she learned in that day she learned how to swim and I told her I was like okay that means you're jumping in the river with me and you know it's sad that it doesn't get to happen but I think she'll be there I know she'll be there I told my parents they're taking this picture in with them and she's gonna have her own seat there when May 24th happened unfortunately you know we got we all got assigned FBI crime victim specialists um, ours her name happened to be Lenora she was the sweetest lady ever she took very good care of me and my parents and she was explaining to me you know what she does for her job and everything and I just thought like this is perfect like this is what I'm meant to do I'm meant to help families who are going through the same pain me and my parents are going through so uh, FBI crime victim specialist that's the end goal and I just think if I could help somebody at least get through a little bit of that pain it's helping me with my pain as well <laughs> I miss everything about her she was my world she wanted to be just like me but I knew she was gonna be better I knew she was gonna be she was better than this world was